and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. I've got the heart piece. Hooray. I increased my money this time around. I kept getting 100 rupees. Alright. Let's go to the next objective. Which is... Getting... We might as well just do one other thing before we do a uh, level 5. Um, second actually. That makes it two things before we do level 5. If, um, hey, get away from me. Get away. Shoo, shoo. Shoo. See if it is there. I hope it is. It is. Let's take the chest with us, shall we? This is something that's pretty delicate. We need to get the chest. We cannot jump down everywhere, anywhere. If we do, the chest remains put. And we can let this beautiful chest remain put now, can we? We also can uh, do the dash uh, attack, and then the chest will stay put. Long story short, this is going to be really annoying. Although it's a short walk. Because we uh, saw earlier that uh, one person has locked a thief and used to be a lock. One of the best in the world. Shall we take to this fine young man? Sure, we won't tell anyone. And we took a bottle. And now we have all four. This one will also be a light bottle because the ladder dungeons will be a huge bitch. So far, I did need to use the green one. Um, and I hope I will not have to. But first, let's get bomb up. We just need Ezra and we get that one on death now. <laughs> I will likely not even use it once. See if they have any potions here. They do. You're welcome. Now, there's a few things that we, uh, we can do. Uh, one I will do off screen. Uh, but I really, really hate it. I'm getting hit already. Another good for you. 
we use this one to uh, go to the Dark World and enter Palace 5. However... The Pond of Happiness. Throwing rupees and our wishes will come through. Well... And that is... Uh, from what I... Uh, have been told. I'm unsure if it's true. Uh, but if you have any luck or... Good luck, bad luck, great luck, big trouble. Um, it basically means um, uh, the drop list for the next thing you kill is going to be that. It has to be, however, a sword and that like uh, and this will take a while. I will um, quickly speed through this. Every hundred uh, rupees, uh, a fairy appears. We're now at 60. So we need two more. Yeah, 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 trophy. I will increase my arrows first. Uh, I will likely never need more than 10 bombs, but this is 100% run, so I have to. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, uh, more arrows, please. This one goes up to. 50, if I recall. Uh, bombs go up to a 35. Um, so that's uh, a lot of rupees you need to do to, to toss in. Uh, I'm going to. I will uh, farm it off screen after Palace 5. If you're not okay with that, tell them. Bad luck. It's not like I actually need to uh, do Palace 5 at all. Other than getting the body, yeah, I need to do it, but it's not that hard. Uh, you get a nice uh, treasure out of it. So let's just head there. My hero, bastard. Yeah, it's really small, <laughs> but it's a really, really big dungeon. It's the first with eight floors. Not all floors are big, and I think you can actually miss the first treasure as well. And this is the first and only dungeon where we meet these guys. Very easy to kill, but... Uh, you can only get them with a fire rod. Anything else? Uh, it won't work. Sadly, these don't do anything. I'm gonna go to cut the video here, so I can spend the next two or three videos specifically on this dungeon. See you next time!